Welcome back to more Harvest Moon One World, everybody. So I figured it out. Oh my god. Apparently this story cutscene only works if you are out there between or after 12 p.m. Like what? Oh my god. What the hell? Like, I, I get that, you know, scenes might not be available until like 8 or 9 a.m. or even 10 a.m. But 12 p.m.? What kind of Harvest Moon event will not work at 11.30 but it will work at 12 p.m.? Not counting festivals. I know festivals have always historically been very specific in time. I'm not counting festivals. Just any freaking regular story scene, you know, that doesn't trigger at 11.30 but it will at 12. That's so weird. Okay, so everybody's just here in line. What do I have to do here? Oh. Um, who are you? Oh, I haven't seen you around here before. Ah, so you're the young man who passed out in front of the village. How are you feeling? Cold? <laughs> you're right, you are. This land is cold and cruel. It makes foraging that much harder. It wasn't like this way back when, believe you me. These days we divvy up the work, gather food, and distribute it to everyone. The people of the village have helped each other in this way for some time now. All to survive in this bleak, frigid land. Why don't you just move out of here? The hell are you doing here? The heck's with this line? Good to see you again, Shiny. I felt like checking out the Aurora Borealis. Borealis. This is the ration line, the Aurora Borealis, you say. I haven't seen one for some time. In the past, it was a common sight, but these days, it is rare indeed. Hmm, so what are these rations all about? Ah, oh, I get it. Things are so bad here, they can't get by without rationing out the food. It wasn't always like this. Years ago, everyone could survive on their own. But now the crops won't grow and the animals won't produce offspring. As a result, the number of citizens who cannot produce their own meals has exploded. The Ratakainen clan that runs our village created a new system with the Karasmakis. I don't know how to pronounce these words, people. I'm just reading. The ration system collects all the food the villagers produce and divides it up equally. The producing households are running low on stock, so rations have become quite scant. Still, if we stop the system, many will die of starvation with no food for themselves. Getting your hands on any food at all is all we can hope for at this point. I see, so how much longer do you guys expect the rations to last at this rate? That's what everyone wants to know. Such an estimation is easier said than done, I'm afraid. Yowza, this sounds pretty bad. Anyways, on how to deal with this... Wait, anyways, on how to deal with this in that old book of yours, Shiny? Hey, hey, don't need to get upset. I'm just showing respect to the book, that's all. Sounds like you were mocking it, actually. <laughs> Tome. Yes, indeedy. Shiny's loved that battered book ever since we were kids. They read it cover to cover. And thanks to that book, we figured out how to till fields and grow crops. You don't say. Well, isn't that something? Say, uh, old man. What? <laughs> what? You can't just... Oh my god. I was just thinking how you young sprouts are so full of venom bigger. You got that right. Plus, we got... Pizzazz. Oh, oh, pizzazz. Oh my god. I, I, for some reason, I was reading the word pizza with like another Z at the end. What the hell? Pizzazz. Oh my god. I'm going crazy over here. Seriously. Super Sprout, you say. Well, isn't that the ticket? Yeah, the ticket to the Super Sprout show. I've taken a shining to you, boy. Would you like to stay on my place until the next Aurora Borealis? For real? Why, wow, you're a lifesaver, Gramps. Looks like the way you find a kindred spirit, wouldn't you say? Okay, well, what are we doing? Uh, okay, there we go. Explore the village, it's pointing this way. We gotta do these things fast because we do not have much stamina to survive here. Another cutscene, okay. Let's see. Oh look, these are the Harvest Sprite ruins, seriously? One moment, I'll just, hmm, now this is, this is odd, Shiny. I can't sense a Harvest Sprite around here. How could this be? These are certainly the right ruins. Indeed, we must seek out the cause. Okay. Well, what, what do we do? You didn't tell me anything. Um, hello? Can anybody help? I actually don't know if I have to be doing anything or just, oh, what about you? Coming to some, well, he's not going to say anything, no. Okay, well, that was pretty pointless there. Uh, what about you? Hmm. Nothing from you either. Okay. I mean, I don't. I don't exactly have a way of. 
Like, I don't have an idea here anywhere. Okay. What about you? Nobody's giving me anything. I don't think I need to be doing anything except just sleeping and waiting for more time to pass, probably. Here's the shop, but I've already, like, been here before and whatever, so... Okay. Hmm. I think I might just need to go back. What about you? No, I, I don't think... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Just, uh... Okay, let's take a quick look at our requests again. Okay, let's just see. Gazpacho. Queen of the Night. Strawberry Milk. That's right, all that, all that freaking stuff. Two gold. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and, um... I'm gonna go to Pascal uh, Village because... Oh my god, I'm actually really low though. I need to hurry this up. Oh god. <laughs> oh damn. Okay, because she's always over here, so I wanna... I wanna see if this is even gonna work, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna hold this and give this to you. You remember what I like? You must really like me, huh, Shiny? Like, I don't know if it's gonna boost up friendship a decent amount or whatever. I, I don't have no idea, but I need to grow... Oh, I have to grow more of those flowers in that case, huh? Oh, shit. The thing is, it's too far. It's too damn far. Okay, um... What's interesting is that there's almost no things to forage in this game. Like, naturally. Um, there's like acorns and mushrooms. Like, each place has its own little thing, but like, you can't just grab a bunch of like... You know... Flowers easily and stuff like that. You really can't do that, which is... Interesting. It's a nice twist for sure. I I'm kind of comparing to see, like, because I have to choose a bachelorette and, you know, get married eventually, so. That'll be something, so. Okay. Go check on Sammy. Okay, so I did do it right, just simply waiting, waiting a day or whatever. Okay. Uh, four sunflowers. What do I get for that? I actually have to check here. Um. Wait, where's... Oh, that one, okay. Same one as before, okay. Um, store my animals, of course. Okay, still got plenty of feed. Talking and brushing. Okay, and let me just make sure there's anything else. I don't see any, so I think I wasted all that food in those spots because the animals aren't going over there, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to. Okay, now we're just gonna... Oh my god, dude. Strawberry. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll water this stuff, and then we just gotta till all this because we got some more seeds. We gotta start planting these things. We did pick up a, a bunch of new ones, you know? Spinach, more spinach, more spinach, blue soybean. Got some broccoli, okay. You know one thing I'm not even sure about this game? Like, do you actually lose stamina by doing work? Like, it doesn't seem like it goes down faster than just... Like, if I were to be running for like or moving around, or just standing for like two in-game hours. Compare that to like if I was constantly, you know, like tilling soil and watering, would I actually lose stamina any faster? I somehow feel like I wouldn't, but maybe that's just me. Like it doesn't, like look at this, I've lost a total of one heart since I woke up at 6 a.m. Are you really saying I would have lost only half a heart? There's no way, there's no freaking way. Um, okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna warp over there because I believe it's a little closer. Just a little bit, not not a huge difference, but it's all good. Alright, so we need to get some more story progression. Man, we do have the stamina to make it over there. I just have to keep, uh... Just gotta keep doing this day by day, you know? It is unfortunate, so that it's a little bit of a, of a walk. But... This will get done eventually. 
And I have to keep... I'm gonna keep giving gifts to Malika to see when her hearts actually go higher. Like, if they do, because... Like, what the hell, you know? I have no idea. I also want to keep getting... Like, I, I want to... If I'm not going to be doing anything else in the day, I should... Ooh, White Rose, nice. And I should keep spending more time here to see if I can pull some different, you know, like, seeds from this area because it seems like there could potentially be some better seeds and stuff. Hello, you. Much obliged, Sammy. It stinks to you I get three square meals a day. It'd be nice if those squares were a little bit more substantial, though. We understand how hard you are all working for us. I'm sorry, everyone. I truly appreciate your patience over the last few years. <laughs> over the last few years? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is so sad. Oh, jeez. Greetings, Aino. Hey, Sammy, how are, you, how are you doing? How's the research coming? The Karis Monkey research on crops is making progress, but no visible results yet. I'm sorry. Oh, I know you're all working hard, but you promised to fix this years ago. If there's no timeline for getting it done, I must... Aino. I'm a father, Sammy. From my perspective, we can't live in peace the way things are here. The ration system deals with the food situation somewhat, but this can't last. You're not planning to leave, are you, Aino? That's one of my options. I have to keep Miko in mind. But if people start leaving the village, the ration system will get tougher to maintain. Wait, why, though? I don't think that makes sense. I mean, I get that you need workers to work with the ration system, but at the same time, that's less mouths to feed. So the ration system will actually sustain more... I don't know, you know? Like, I don't know. Tell me your thoughts about that. Doesn't that not really make complete logical sense? I do see one perspective. I do. Um, I understand how you feel. I know parents have to make hard decisions for their children. Still, could you give me a bit more time? I know it's asking a lot, but... And how long would you have me wait, Chrissy? Time is limited. I care about the village, but I can't keep waiting forever. I'll leave if I must. Nothing will change that. Oh, Aino. Apologies, you two. I just needed you to know. Hmm. I must apologize as well. I made you play the mediary. mediary. Don't worry about it. Even Aino understands, I'm sure. The fact that we haven't shown any results is true. I must try even harder. I'm sorry I have to see our internal squabbles. Please forgive us. Our research isn't progressing as planned. We made it this far in good faith, but that has waned. Yes, I'm investigating the sundial in my spare time. It's part of my archaeology study. Most of the time these days is taken up by the farm research the Ratikainen clan asked of me. My, but you've taken a keen interest. Do you want to check on the, on the crops? I'll mark them on your map. Go to the... Okay, sure. Uh, there's nothing there, dude. There you are, Shiny. Welcome to the Karasmaki Crop Research Area. Oh, came to see it for yourself, did you? Your dog's friend, yes? He's working on some invention back at my house. It's a waste to just wait around for the Aurora Borealis. I'll go make something, he yelled. Hmm. Oh, you two know each other? In a sense, yes. You know, Shiny, I've been researching plant growth for the last few years with Kersey's help. Still, nothing we try in the village itself works, so we moved our experiments here. We clear the trees, break rocks, find water, plow the soil, and finally sow seeds. Hope we get some good results. Oh, Dad. Yep. Oh yeah, I never introduced him. This is my father, Professor Julius Karsmaki. Blood relation has nothing to do with this. The crops come first. If this fails, we're done for. In oversight. But we've tried everything written in that book you possess. Is it so strange that I know about the book? I've certainly been alive longer than you, thus I have more knowledge than you. That's all. Tch, okay. Whatever the case may be, I feel we should check the status of the seeds we already sown. Understood. Let's check in three days. If you're curious, feel free to come with us then, Shiny. Also, I have to point you, look, look at look where my character actually is. Like, not the pop-up sprite thing, whatever. Like, the actual gameplay. Do you see the leg and the arm just sticking out while I was in a running position? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Okay, so we gotta come back in three days? I guess so. Oh my god, he just warped and disappeared. What was that? Quiet Boy? Um, okay, let's just, um, let's check out some stuff. Killer tomato seeds. Oh my god. Okay, let's check over here. 
Here's a nice little acorn. Sounds good. Then we got... Strawberry pansy seeds. Okay. More strawberry pansy. You know that saying? Like, what do people say? Like, 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 stop being such a pansy. Or don't be such a pansy. A pansy is a flower, though, isn't it? Like, I was always curious on, like, what the heck. Also, should I even eat these things? I mean, it might be a good investment if I, I can actually... I can, I can make it a little further to get some... Oh my god, stop draining this thing so fast. Jesus Christ. Okay, this is actually a dumb idea. I literally just wasted all that. Um, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm so getting out of here. <laughs> Screw this. Oh my god, I can't ever explore there. God damn, I, look, I know I'm stubborn, I know I can be in comments, dude, eat some hot stuff, like, I know, I know, I'm sleeping. Okay. Let's see if I get more, um, more story stuff that I need to do. I probably do, we'll see. Or maybe I have to wait the three days. Yeah, maybe I actually do have to wait three days, like, like the, what the cutscene was saying. What's in here? Three squash from Laura? Okay. Alright, let's start, as always, with their little, you know, nice little routine here that we got going. Okay, then we'll do that. Also, now I'm wondering, do I even need to plant stuff over here? Like, uh, I, probably not, but... Like, as in, do I need to have my farm over here now? Hmm. Because, I mean, I, I've unlocked the warp point for Lepkachin. So I don't necessarily have to have it right here anymore. But I did just find a bunch of stuff, so I'm going to have to wait regardless. I was more so speaking about, like, later. This thing wilted, by the way. Well, damn. I mean, I got more stuff here that I can plant. You know, but maybe I should hold off on that. I think I'll have to stay here anyway, so I should, I should just keep planting, I'm pretty sure. Spinach, and then we'll just... I really should upgrade this hoe. Got some white rose, strawberry pansy, and that's it, okay. Alright, um... I think I'm just gonna have these days go pretty fast. All I'm gonna do is go up here to Pastilla Village, give a gift. Uh, I'm trying to just, I'm kind of just like in compare mode here, you know? I'm looking to see if there actually is something... Oh yeah, whatever, okay. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna hold this thing. No, I didn't mean it, god damn it. Hold that. Give that to you. But... Well, it is half a heart. Okay, you're at half now. Maybe that's something. Um, anything over here? Not really. Okay. Do these guys say anything? I don't think so. No. Okay. But yeah, see, um, you do actually go down faster in the cold weather as opposed to the desert. I can, I can definitely see that there is a slight difference in that, you know? Hmm. Anything, anything over here to get? I know that I wanted to get onions at one point, but I couldn't actually ever find them, unfortunately. But maybe exploring the desert might be a good idea. I, I mean, I know that, I believe that onions were actually over here. Thing is, it's it's now fall season, by the way. I didn't even mention that, but it's totally fall season now. And I'm just like, what the hell, dude? There's nothing. There's not a single seed in the desert. Are you kidding me? Okay, here's one. Did I ever come all the way over here? Is this a farm? Who the hell's gonna want to plant, dude? If you put your farm over here, I think you're stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> like. Who in the world is going to have their farm up in the desert where your stamina gets drained twice as fast and there's not even anything nearby? Like, even the town is... If you're going to choose a desert spot, choose the one in the bottom right corner. I'm just saying, you know? Like, what the hell? Oh my god. Oh no, no not there. Alright, we're just going to make these days fly by, pretty much, because, like, there's... 
Not much else I'm gonna do. Kinda just waiting here, you know? To see what's gonna happen. I gotta wait three days, it said, for the next cutscene thing to happen. Alright, so here's day two. Day two. Oh my god, more of these. Four rye. Oh my god, there's so many requests. There's so many. Hello, you. I will talk and brush. It's cool that I have to wait a bunch of days anyway, because I, I wouldn't even be able to finish everything in that snow city anyway. Because I need the this sheep to be grown so I can trim the wool, apparently, so... I'm not in any rush. I'm like, I might be like, oh my god, so much waiting. No, not really. Because in the end, it's kind of the same thing, you know? Okay, so we did that. Um, let's go ahead and see if anything grew. I really doubt it, because we just planted a bunch of stuff relatively soon. Uh, we should plant something here. Red onion. Let's go with that. Okay. Fill that up. Oh, wait. There we go. And get rid of that weed. Okay. And then we'll just, um... Yeah, we're just gonna do our same thing. We're just gonna warp over there, give a gift to Malika, and see how fast this is going up. What? What the hell is this? Is this a half a heart love scene? Maybe. La la la. Oh? And what brings you here? To give you a gift? What else? Sure thing, coming over. We can have a lovely chat. You think my loot has a beautiful sound? Thanks for the compliment. I'm quite fond of its tone, too. Do I still gather flowers? Well, that's a silly question. They're so gorgeous. How could I ever stop? Perhaps you can relate. Not everything around Pastilla is so gorgeous, though. Sorry you had to see that. It's nice to hear you say that. Thanks for being so accepting. Yeah, of course. You're saying it's nice to see me happy? I see. I don't know anyone who talks like that. You're sort of unusual, but also just a little intriguing. What would you say to you and I becoming closer friends? I think it could be really fun, don't you think? If you ever tell somebody, let's become closer friends, I think it would be fun? Nobody says it like that. The only way you- the only reason you would say that is because you're implying friends with benefits. You're saying it would be fun to become closer friends. You're kind of different. You're planning- That'd be great. That's wonderful. Let's have all kinds of fun. Oh my god, Malika, you- I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not crazy in the comment section. Please do that. Jesus. What kind of seed is it? Why, that's a big secret. You have to plan it to find out. When a bud sprouts? What did you give me? What? I don't have anything. I think it's just a freaking story item or something. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. There we go. <clears throat> Oh, well, that's right, I keep forgetting about your damn errand. Hmm. Okay, see, there are onions over there. Shit. Hmm. I mean... The other thing, too, is that there's no red roses here. I thought there would always be some red roses here, but maybe they're not there in the early morning. <coughs> oh god, sorry, I'm dying over here. Oh jeez. Okay, onions, onions. There we go. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stop it there. Let's go back to the house. Shiny's home. And um, yeah, I, sh I should actually plant this. Let's go with planting this stuff here. Onion! Daisy! Okay. And I'll just go to bed again. Okay, so we should now trigger another scene, right? I, I believe we will. Now that I've... It's been three days now. Let's see if it does tell me to go back to the ice town or whatever.
Oh, cutscene. Oh, it's the festival, isn't it? Crop should be going in the Professor Seal by now. Oh, no, no, it's not. Wait a minute, but it's the fourth, isn't it? Isn't there a... Isn't there like the... Fe Remember that, what's it called? The equestrian thing or whatever? Four and dive. What the hell? Oh my god, they're all requesting stuff. I can't supply everybody in this world. Jeez, man. Why does everybody only want stuff from me? Also, it's funny that the cow always wins the food. Have you noticed that when there's, when there's one left? The cow's the one eating and not the sheep? <laughs> That's so sad. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take care of our crops, and then we're gonna run over there. Okay. Leak. We got, I got stuff? No, no stuff. Alright. water all this. What? Shit! I didn't mean to... God dang it. I'm out of water. Okay. Well, this actually worked out fine. Oh no, these are all actually ready. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Okay. Awesome. How's my bag looking? Okay, I got plenty of space. And I'm just gonna go ahead and warp to Lep Kitchen Village. Because it's a tiny bit closer than my farm. Alright, time to go back over there, trigger some more cutscenes, and I'm pretty sure after we trigger all those cutscenes, we're going to be close to ending this video. I'm really seeing when I get to the part where I need that wool that people keep telling me about. I don't know if it's like the next scene, or if there's still like two more things I have to do, you know, before, but... I know I'm getting close, so... I'm just glad that more days keep passing, so that that gives more time for my sheep to grow. Because he will be growing up. Big and strong, you know? To give me some nice healthy wool. Oh god, it's a freaking sandstorm over here. Oh jeez. I better still be able to get freaking cutscenes through this. Okay, I'll definitely get the ones on the way. Because, I mean, it's literally right there, you know? Gotta run, gotta run. See, honestly, I'm not really seeing this, that, like, once you get used to this, how, how this mechanic works, if you just are smart about how you approach things, um, like, it's not a huge problem, the whole desert and snow thing. Hello, this place was a failure, too. Something is clearly amiss. The growth shouldn't be this slow. We're using seeds with high rates of germination, but they've taken even longer to sprout. It's almost as if the time around the village has slowed. Hmm, the flow of power is being blocked. Well, that's an interesting proposition. So if something is stopping the village from moving, you and I are, clear are certainly moving, and a day's pass as usual, but something is fundamentally wrong. Oh dear, I thought we had it at this time. I can't believe it didn't work. We've tried so many things, I just thought that if we tried again far from the village... Does that mean the soil isn't to blame? There's some other reason? What in the world can we... Sorry, I lost my cool there. Even though we asked Aino and the others to be patient, we couldn't make any headway. And even with everyone helping out, there's a limit to what we can do. At this rate, they'll leave the village. It'll be the end of Selmiaki. Oh man. This is an unfortunate outcome. But that just means we must change our methods. But Father, we've asked the villagers patience for years now under the mantra, that mantra. These are the cards we've been dealt, Kirsty. We cannot rest or the road won't open to us. Those who live in harmony with nature must face such severity on occasion. There's no time for regret. We make a promise to the Ratikainans, did we not? Yes, you're right. Forgive me, Father. You, we must fulfill our obligation. In Salmiaki, the Radikanans support the village as its leaders, and we, Karasmakis, have supported them in turn, and thus the whole village since long ago. The two houses together persuaded everyone to abide by the current system to deal with all this. Some people voiced concerns when we first breached the idea of the ration system. That's what we promised. The Radikanin clan would distribute all the food evenly, while the Karasmakis would succeed in their crop growth research without fail. But given this last incident, it may be prudent to get a second opinion. Kersey, go to the Radikanin estate and report to Vilho. I'll continue my work here. Shiny, would you go in my place to see Sami's father with her? Sure. Your help is greatly appreciated. Yeah, of course. We'll take care of that. Hello. Good day, Vilho. Oh, if it isn't Kersey, what seems to be the trouble? I'm here to report to the Karasmaki crop research area. I'm afraid this time was no different. Father suggested I come and get your advice at this time. I see. 
that location failed as well. I admit I held some expectations for that spot. The cause is in pestilence of some kind, the growth rate of crops is just abnormally slow. Our reserve stocks have almost reached their limits. Soon the ration system will be unsustainable. Oh, and who is this? A traveler named Shiny. They've been helping wherever they can. I see that we are in your debt. You've heard of the ration system, yes? We've been collecting food from the villagers for several years now. However, things have taken a turn for the worse. Homes without production have nothing to offer. Thus, those homes are excluded from the collection process. In other words, Shiny, we can't gather enough food to feed every family in the village. So, how have we done all this? So, how have we done so all this time? Why, by draining the reserves for House Rattakainen. The only ones who knew this are Father and the people here. Telling the others won't help. I believe we just had to wait until the professor completed his research, but I was too naive. Philho, I'm... No, no, I'm not criticizing your father. He's done well given the circumstances. At this age, I can't work like the rest of you. If anyone should apologize, it's me, my dear. The agricultural research plays the most important role in this matter. I've had to leave it all in you and your father's hands. Forgive me. If I learn any viable recourse, I'll help in whatever way I can. Hold on, Sammy. You leave the research to us, you hear? Wait, sorry, I worded that wrong. My bad. You have your forest ranger work, the village to look after, and the ration system to oversee. If you help with the research on top of that, you'll never sleep a wink. But Kersey, I mean it. If you collapse, the whole village will follow. Yes, you're right, as you say, Kersey. Hmm. They seem to be at an impasse. I too find the slow speed of growth suspicious. The area may be cold, but they were able to subsist off their harvest before, yes? There must be some reason for all of this. Should we go examine those ruins? Perhaps they're exerting some strange effect over Salmiaki. Possibly, yes. Oh wait, my bad. It's right here. Let's let's observe this. Let's see what happens. Hmm, the absence of a harvest brought here is truly bizarre. Yes, it's possible that they might be somewhere else, but they usually aren't the type to wander off somewhere. First things first, we must as ascertain their whereabouts. Indeed. How do we go about finding them? You know, Tempest all always got along well with the Harvest Wisp. Maybe because they both don't talk much. Maybe the Harvest Wisps around here know where Tempest went. It can't hurt to ask. Alright, well, gather info from the Harvest Wisps. Oh, little wisp, would you happen to know where the Harvest Bride has gone to? They're gone? Since when? A dreadfully cold day, you say. But most days in Salmiaki are... Ah, oh, well, thank you anyway. I suggest we try again. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. What about you? We're searching for the Harvest Sprite. Do you know where they are? Yes, we're concerned as well. We heard they vanished on a cold day. Do you know anything else? Whoosh whoosh. Hmm, perhaps they a wind blew them away. A storm, maybe? Thank you for telling us. Okay, Shiny, we should search a little more. I'm running out of stamina here. Oh my god, Vite. Oh, here's one. Pardon me, little Harvest Wisp, but we seek the Harvest Bird. Have you seen them anywhere? We heard they disappeared after a storm. Does that ring any bells for you? Sundial. Could it be? But what do you mean the sundial is broken? Hmm, we should go check out the sundial again. Oh my god. I'm getting tired. Oh god. Hey, it looks shiny. The sundial point is broken. Ah, yes. It is indeed broken. Sammy told me that the broken piece is nowhere to be found. It appeared to bother him. He searched high and low for it. The Ruddy Cunning Clan has looked after that sundial for generations, you see. If you find it, Sammy is sure to fix it post-haste. Interesting. When was he looking for it? Now that you mentioned it a while ago. A few years ago, in fact. Speaking of which, that was right around the time the crop started failing in Salmiaki. Oh my god, you couldn't tell us this shit before? Well... You want to learn more about it? I can tell you all about it. Is something on your mind? What? No, I don't think it's related to the crop and livestock issues in the least. I mean, that's just not grounded in reality. There must be a logical reason. We just don't know it yet. You're right, Shiny. Investigating everything is what archaeology is all about. In that case, I suggest we go talk to Vilho about it. He's taught me all sorts of things over the years. Okay, that's actually where I'm going to end the video. Oh my god, I gotta go inside fast. Shit. Oh wait, one more. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. Actually, we'll extend this one by a couple minutes, sure. Greetings, Chrissy. I'm sure you are more than capable of speaking on the subject, are you not? Well, yes, but due to the failings of my research, I fear my perspective is narrower than usual. I thought I should listen along and see if I can get my thought processes back in order. That certainly looks sounds like you. 
Very well, I'll tell you about the story of the sundial. That sundial is an ancient relic attended by those of us in the house of Ratikainen. Long ago, a wizard came to the village and built it at the behest, behest of the clan ahead. No magic dwells in that sundial, I assure you. It is but a mere fixture. Still, upon its construction, the crops and livestock of Salmaki flourish more than before. The sundial reads the flow of the time, granting wealth upon the village, it is written. So, it predicted the turn of the seasons, which the clan had shared with the village. When to sell seeds, when to let the livestock graze. In a place as harsh as Salmiaki, such knowledge can mean the difference between life and death. But everyone learned how to read the flow of time without the sundial, rendering it obsolete. Even so, the sundial is treasured by the Rachikanen family. Sammy looks after it, after it to this very day. So, you noticed the uh, Noman was missing too, did you? Even I looked for it, but as soon as we found it missing, or whatever, but... The crops soon stopped growing, robbing us of the wherewithal to search for the missing piece. Salmiaki was hit by a furious blizzard a few years ago. Days later, we checked on the sundial. However, we found it was already broken. We blamed the snowstorm searching but never finding it. Hold on a moment, now that I think about it. What is it, Sammy? Oh, let's see. When I checked on the sundial, somebody had already been there. I saw footprints next to it. Large footprints, likely belonging to a man. You're right, Shani. If we find this person, perhaps they'll have some information for us. Pardon me, but you're going to look for the broken Noma now? Please refrain. I appreciate the sentiment, but now's not the time for such... No, you wait, Sammy. It seems that Shani had something in mind. They think the sundial is somehow related to what's going on in the village. You think the destruction of the sundial is linked to the issues with crops and livestock? It doesn't sound very plausible to me, but... And yet we cannot know for sure. Father? I know I said the sundial contains no magic, but it was created by a wizard after all. Long did our ancestors receive its blessing, long did they treat the sundial with reverence. It couldn't be strange if a power came to dwell on that device. Consider this, the crops will not grow and the animals will not breed. What if for the sundial that guarded this village, time itself was broken? Bill, are you serious? Dead serious, my dear. The fact is, the village lost its wealth when it lost its sundial. I decided it was time to re-examine my presumptions. Thank you, Traveler. You did well to recognize the connection. I would like to look into this as well, Sammy, but my body, you see? Worry not, Father. I shall perform an investigation with great precision. Very good, my child. You have my thanks. Goodness, if you mean to go that far, I can't help but get intrigued myself. I'm in. Me too? Holy shit, that was quite a scene. And we're up there in time with this video because that was a lot of cutscenes. Talk to the villagers. Okay, that's going to be for next time, for sure. <laughs> Alright, so before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I post multiple gaming videos on a daily basis, so hopefully you enjoy my channel. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.